Hello, welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 69 of C-Sharp tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss making method parameters optional by specifying parameter defaults. Please watch part 67 and 68 before proceeding with this video. In part 67, we discussed using parameter arrays and in part 68, we discussed method overloading. In this video, we'll discuss making method parameters optional by specifying parameter defaults. We'll be using the same example that we used in part 67 and 68. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I have this add numbers function which is going to allow the user to add two or more numbers. Okay, in this function at the moment, you know, the first and second number parameters are going to contain the first two numbers that the end user want to add. And in case if he wants to add more than two numbers, then those numbers will be passed as part of this third parameter here. Now look at what we are doing. The implementation is very straightforward. We have an integer variable here, uh, result, which is holding the sum of the first and second numbers. And then look at this. Here we are checking if rest of numbers is not null. Okay, if it's not null, this rest of numbers, if it's not null, then we know for sure the end user wants to add, you know, more than two numbers. Okay, in which case we are looping through that integer array, taking each integer out of the array and adding it to this result variable. Finally, we are printing the sum. Okay, pretty straightforward. At the moment, if you look at this function, all the three parameters are mandatory. Now, let's say, for example, if I want to add just two numbers, you know, when I say 10, 20, and then if I try to, you know, build the solution, look at this, I already have a red squiggly there. You know, it says no overload for method add numbers take two arguments because the only overloaded version of add numbers at the moment has three uh, parameters and we need to supply values for all the three parameters. Okay, now my intention here is to make this third parameter optional. And that too, I want to make it optional by specifying a default parameter value. And how do we do that? Um, all you need to do is is equal to, and you can specify whatever value you want to specify. At the moment, I am going to specify a value of null. Okay. So look at this right now. I that error has gone away. Now here, the end user wants to add just two numbers, in which case he is not going to supply the argument for the third parameter. So if we don't supply an argument for the third parameter, then rest of numbers will be null, in which case it wouldn't go through this for each loop because this condition will become false. Okay. So obviously now if I go ahead and run this, as you might expect, the sum will be 30. Okay. On the other hand, if the end user wants to add you know, more than two numbers, then he can pass a value for the third parameter as well. Look at that. By default, it's null. But I want to add, you know, two more numbers, maybe 30 and 40. So I am creating a new integer array and then passing those values, 30 and 40. And obviously, if I run this now, we should get the sum of those four numbers. Okay. So in this video, we have discussed how to make method parameters optional by specifying parameters, uh, parameter defaults. But then one thing to keep in mind is that the optional parameters must appear after all the required parameters. So here, the first number and second number are mandatory and required parameters, meaning you have to supply values for these parameters. Okay. But then the third parameter is the optional here. Now the optional parameters must appear after all the required parameters. Now what will happen if I specify this as the second parameter. Let's look at that. Look at this. If I try to build this, let's comment this method call right there. And let's try to build this and see what's going to happen. So right click on the project, build. Look at that. It says build fail. And look at the error message. Optional parameters must appear after all required parameters. OK? All right. Another thing that we'll discuss here is named parameters. Now, let me actually, uh, to speed things up, I have this method already implemented. So let me copy that. And let's flip to Visual Studio. Now, if you look at this function here, you know, the test function, it has got three parameters here. And with out of these three parameters, A is mandatory. It's a required parameter. And then B and C are optional because we have default specified there. And all this function does is it prints out the values of uh, whatever we pass in. A is equal to A, B, and C. Okay. Now, look at this. Let me invoke this function. 
okay so test and then I'm going to pass a value of 1 and 2 okay uh, look at that I can just invoke this function by passing just 1 because B has a default value of 10 C has a default value of 20 now let me run this so A will be 1 B will be 10 and C will be 20 okay now let's say I want to pass the second parameter as well the argument for the uh, second parameter let's say I want to pass 2 now my intention here is to actually pass this argument 2 uh, you know as the value for the third parameter now let me actually run this so by default what's going to happen 1 will be treated as the argument for parameter A 2 will be treated as the argument for parameter B but my intention is I want to pass 2 to parameter C and I want to know I, and I don't want to supply any argument for B I want it to use its default is it possible absolutely that's where named parameters come into play so now I want this number 2 to be treated as an argument for parameter C so how do I specify that that's my intention I can use named parameters look at this the moment I press you know comma after the first parameter you know look at the intelligence it's asking me to supply a value for you know parameter B but what I can do I can specify the name of the parameter here uh, the name of the third parameter is C so I'm simply going to say C look at the intelligence again it's showing that syntax as well for us C colon and then two and look at what happened in the intelligence okay it has recognized that we want to pass this value to C so now obviously if I run this as you might expect you know B is using its default value whereas 2 is now passed to the passed as the argument for the third parameter okay in our next video we'll discuss making method parameters optional by using optional attribute that's present in system.runtime.interop services on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions that's it for today Thank you for listening. Have a great day.